Hi, my name is Lucas, and I'm a digital media producer who lives in Santa Monica, California. Today I'm going to teach you how to record spoken word tracks. It's something I have some familiarity with, and I also find it kind of ironic since I don't really like the sound of my own voice. This project uses the basic principles we've already learned in the Berkeley course, and this narration you're hearing now is the application of those techniques. Capturing the best sound we can from the get-go gives us a much better source to work with when editing. We're going to use a condenser microphone on this project, in this case, an Audio-Technica 3035. We'll be using a Studio Projects VTB1 preamp as our gain stage into our Firebox audio interface to get the audio into our computer. So the first thing you want to do is set up your microphone somewhere in your house that isn't that noisy. This can be extremely difficult in most homes because we live in a noisy world. Here's an example of the noise just in my living room. I find that a walk-in closet is almost ideal because the clothes hanging will dampen a lot of the sound. I, however, record in my bathroom because I actually like the sound of the room. You also want to consider the pickup pattern of your microphone. I'm using a cardioid pattern, which picks up sound in the front of it, but sort of blocks out the sound coming from the back. So what you want to do is aim that microphone towards the most silent part of the room. A good rule of thumb is to point the microphone away from windows since they're thinner and sound waves will travel through that a lot easier. Once that's set up, we're going to flip the bass roll-off switch that this particular microphone features. It will filter out some of the very low end of the frequency spectrum, and this will help cut out some of the noise in the room, the low rumbles and stuff that happen in a building. Now we're going to connect the XLR cable to the microphone, and then plug it into the input of the preamp. Then the output of the preamp is going into input 1 of the audio interface. Remember to set your interface to Unity Gain. We're actually going to use the preamp as the gain stage for this project. With all of the gain and volume knobs down on the preamp, you can now turn it on. Also, flip on the phantom power switch for the preamp in order to give our condenser microphone the power that it requires. You only need to turn it on once, on the preamp. No need to turn on the phantom power switch on the interface too. Before we do a level test, we have to consider the harsh sounds that can come out of your mouth that you normally don't hear, but the microphone picks up. It's often referred to as sibilance or plosives. S sounds, or hard sounds like t and p, can sometimes cause noisy spikes in your signal. Most places that sell recording equipment also sell a pop filter that clamps on the stand and goes between you and the microphone. If you're on a budget like most of us are, you could also use a sock. And I hope I don't have to tell you to use a clean sock. Now you can start up your recording software and do some level tests. Talk into the microphone with the material you're going to record or act, and set the gain and the outputs on the preamp to as close to zero decibels as possible. What I find on my personal preamp is that I can set the output to zero and set the gain to 25, which gives a really nice signal for recording spoken word. This is something that takes a good deal of practice, and there are many techniques and arguments on the internet over it. The easiest way to go about it, though, is to get the preamp meter and the track in the computer to both show as much green as possible with as little yellow as possible and no red. You want to get above that noise floor, but you don't want it to distort. Once you have a good level, you have the basics of recording a decent spoken word track, and then you can start worrying about stuff like performance and what you're actually going to record. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, thank you very much for listening.